This video will demonstrate the steps faculty must take in order to start using the ProctorU online proctoring service to proctor tests and exams in their courses. Faculty will first need to work with their department chair, associate dean, and or dean to get approval to use ProctorU. For those faculty who are approved, the next step will be to create a ProctorU account. Select the instructor option. Keep in mind that it can take 24 to 48 hours for instructor and student accounts to be approved by ProctorU. Please plan accordingly to allow enough time for scheduling your exam. Once your account has been approved, you'll receive an email from ProctorU asking you to sign in and confirm your account. Next, you'll need to install the ProctorU browser extension for Chrome or Firefox. You must do this before you can access ProctorU in Moodle. Once you have approval from your department, your ProctorU account is active, and your ProctorU browser extension is installed. Follow these instructions to schedule an exam in Moodle using ProctorU. Log into your Moodle account and navigate to the course where you would like to set up a new or pre-existing exam. Log in to the ProctorU browser extension. Once you have successfully logged in, you can close the ProctorU page. Navigate to your exam in Moodle. Make sure editing is turned on and click Edit Settings. Click on the ProctorU button to switch the section to on. Click the button to switch auto-generated password to on, unless you prefer to create your own password. You're able to create your own password later on in the settings options. Finally, make sure the session's type is set to auto. Next, open the ProctorU settings. The exam settings are set to be optimized from a default standpoint. You do not need to change these settings unless desired. To allow certain resources during the exam, click the checkbox next to the resources you would like your students to be able to use. Prior to starting an exam, students will be notified as to what is allowed. Under Timing, make sure you set the dates and times in which students are allowed to begin their exam. This time frame allows students to start the exam any time within that window. Under Grade, it is recommended that you have two attempts for the students in case there is an issue. ProctorU can help the student get back into the test if necessary. With two attempts, you may choose settings for the first attempt to count. Based on the circumstances, you can view their attempts to determine if they merit a grade adjustment. If you have different preferences, feel free to choose these settings accordingly. There are two more things to note about your exam settings. Safe Exam Browser is best utilized for a classroom setting and can be left alone for online proctored exams. For that same reason, under Extra Restrictions, 
leave the browser security as none. If you didn't turn on auto-generated password above, this is where you'll need to input a password. Once you have completed editing the exam settings, click Save and Display. Remember to clearly indicate to students which tests are proctored in the syllabus. In addition, include some verbiage in your syllabus describing the ProctorU service and what students must do to use it. Sample language is available in our ProctorU Instructions for Faculty Help document in the eList Help Library or our eList Proctoring Guide webpage.